Welcome to Listen to Your Heart. My name is Fawaz al I'm a cardiologist interested in cardiovascular imaging and cardio-oncology. Welcome. I'm Bailey Barmore, and I'm a cardiovascular epidemiologist. Today we'll be talking about familial hypercholesterolemia. So familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH, is an inherited genetic condition that affects how the body, how the body recycles LDL cholesterol which is often called bad cholesterol. LDL stands for low density lipoprotein. Since the body cannot recycle the LDL cholesterol, it's built up in the blood, leading to higher than normal risk of coronary heart disease. Bailey, how common is familial hypercholesterolemia? Well, prevalence is the number of people at a given time with a condition. The prevalence of FH in the U.S. is estimated to be around 0.2% to 0.5%, estimated from the Nationally Representative Survey and Haines. While FH can occur in any ethnic group, like other genetic conditions, it tends to be more common in certain populations. These include Afrikaners, French Canadians, Lebanese Christians, and Ashkenazi Jews. Hmm. So familial hypercholesterolemia is the most common monogenic condition seen in a primary practice? That's right. But the actual prevalence might be much higher than we think due to underdiagnosing. Fawaz, how is FH handled in terms of screening and diagnosis? Well, this is a great question. Traditionally, cascade screening is, due, is used to diagnose familial hypercholesterolemia. If one person is identified to have familial hypercholesterolemia, it is important to have their biological relatives tested too. The cascade of screening continues if more family members are diagnosed. Does every family member need to be tested, even children? Well, yes. Um, even children. Familial hypercholesterolemia causes high blood cholesterol as early as childhood. We don't often think about blood cholesterol being an issue in childhood, but it's important for families to get screened if there is a family history. Healthy living and lifestyle behavior are important, but unfortunately cannot effectively lower blood cholesterol in familial hypercholesterol. Are there newer ways of screening FH? Yes. So the 2015 American Heart Association scientific statement on familial hypercholesterolemia recommends simpler clinical criteria to diagnose familial hypercholesterolemia. Feasibility of screening is important to increase awareness and correct underdiagnosis and undertreatment. What are the components of the clinical criteria? Okay. So family history is important. A history of high cholesterol or premature heart disease combined with an LDL cholesterol level of 160 milligram per deciliter or higher in a child or 190 milligram per deciliter or higher in adults would promote the clinician to diagnose familial hypercholesterolemia. Now, other clinical signs to look for include syndomas, which is really are cholesterol deposit in the skin and even sometimes in the tendons. So in closing, let's summarize the clinical and public health implications of what we've discussed. Sure. So clinically, it's important for health care practitioners, from primary care to cardiology, to suspect, diagnose, and treat familial hypercholesterolemia. As a patient, if you are told you have severe dyslipidemia, and may have an inherited blood lipid mutation like familial hypercholesterolemia, have your family tested and ask about treatment options to lower your risk of heart disease. From the epidemiologic lens, it's important to distinguish between FH and dyslipidemia. Gathering data that identifies FH cases allows us to examine the effect of healthy lifestyle interventions or statin treatment in this group. From the overall public health perspective, increasing awareness about FH, both in the medical community and the general population, and improving access to healthcare are key steps to improve the current state of underdiagnosis and undertreatment. Thanks so much for watching. Turn in for the next topic in our series. We're going to talk about hypertension. See you. See you then.